I'm Dr. Taylor Gregory. I'm the VP of Animal Health here at the Greensboro Science Center as well as the veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center. And last week we took one of our otters, Chisana, down here to the hospital for a birth control implant as well as a physical exam under anesthesia. And at this time we're replacing her birth control because she is not recommended to breed with Theo as part of the species survival plan for the Asian small clawed otter. In order to place a birth control implant in Chisana, we started by transporting Chisana from her holding space down to the hospital in our transport van. And then once she was under anesthesia and in a good surgical plane, we were able to start with a physical exam and collect blood work prior to undergoing surgery. And then just like in a cat or a dog, when they get spayed or neutered, we sterilely prepped her surgical site and then we removed her old implant, the one that she had from her previous year, and then we placed her new implant, which was a little bit of a different type of implant based off the recommendations for her species in a different site, just between her shoulder blades. And then that went in between her muscle layers in her shoulders versus just under the skin like the old implants. And then we close that incision by putting all of the sutures, just like if you scraped your knee, you would get sutures at a hospital. We put all of her sutures underneath the skin, so that way she wouldn't be able to scratch them or remove those. And then afterwards, we made sure that she recovered nicely. While she was under, we were also able to give her a vaccine because we can do that under anesthesia so she doesn't have to feel that extra poke. And give her some fluids as well to make her feel better. So while animals are recovering, there's a couple steps we take. One is we take the endotracheal tube, the tube that protects their trachea out as soon as they're able to swallow when we no longer need to protect their airway. And then we're also trying to stimulate them into recovering. So tapping on their face, tapping on the side of their crate in order to provide enough stimulus that they're waking up, they're hearing things and they're recovering, but not too much that we startle them or cause them to have an abnormal recovery. And so you'll see us doing that. And Chisana's procedure went really well, so her physical exam was normal, her blood work all came back very normal, and she did really well for the surgery. I checked on her incision just a day or two ago, and it's looking well and healing as it should. So I've been at the Greensboro Science Center for just under three months now, and it has certainly been a change of pace from where I was at before, but it is a much smaller facility, and one of the reasons I've really enjoyed my time here so far is it's very much a tight-knit community and very much a family atmosphere, and it's been really nice having that um, here at the Greensboro Science Center. So I really, really look forward to being here for a much longer period of time and working with everyone and getting to know everyone.